some of the harder examples in the PowerPoint. Objective 2 and 4, um, dealing with the graph representing a function and naming the domain and range. When you think about a graph representing a function or not, think about whether it passes the vertical line test. Meaning, if you were to place a vertical line through this first graph, it would only cross at one point. Therefore, this first one would be a function. Um, for thinking about domain and range, for domain, think about if there are restrictions on the x values that the graph takes on. For this first one, you can see that the graph goes to the left and to the right, indicated by the arrows, um, with no restriction. Therefore, the domain, the acceptable x values the graph can take on, would be all real numbers. The range would also be all real numbers because the graph is going down and up with no restrictions. So the graph would take on all y coordinates. For the second graph, this one would pass the vertical line test. Any vertical line through any part of the graph would only cross at one point. Um, the domain is all real numbers because it goes to the left and to the right with no restrictions on the x values. The range would be y greater than or equal to negative 6 because the graph um, doesn't have an upward boundary since it goes up forever but it does have a lower boundary. The graph does not go um, down past negative 6. For the next two, um, the graph at the top here would not pass the vertical line test. Um, any vertical line you put through the graph would cross at two points. As you can see right here, the point um, 3 comma 2 right here and 3 comma negative 1 right here would share the same x value. Therefore, um, every coordinate wouldn't have a unique x value. For the domain, as you can see, the graph starts at x is 1 half right here and doesn't go to the left. Um, therefore, the x has to be greater than or equal to 1 half for the domain. For the range, um, it's all real numbers because the graph goes up and down with no restrictions on the y values it could take on. Um, this last one here would not be a function. For instance, this vertical line right here that I'm drawing would cross at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different points. The domain and the range would be all real numbers because, um, as you can see by the arrows, it goes to the left and to the right with no restrictions. So the domain is all real numbers, but it also goes down and up with no restrictions. So the y values um, would take, or the graph would take on any y value and the range would be all real numbers. The very last two graphs, um, this first one sort of looks like it wouldn't pass the vertical line test because of this right here on the ends, um, but actually this is a gradual change so any vertical line would only cross um, at one point on the graph. The domain is all real numbers because it would go to the left and to the right and x would take on any value. Um, the range, however, there's no restriction up, but as you can see, this part right here um, would be the lowest point. Y wouldn't have to be greater than or equal to negative 6. Um, the last example would not pass the vertical line test because it is a vertical line. Placing a vertical line over it would make it cross at every point. The domain, x equals 2, because x is always 2 on this vertical line. You don't go to the left, and you don't go to the right. The range would be all real numbers, because there's no restrictions on the y values the graph takes on. It goes up and down with no restrictions. Alright guys, I hope this video helped you. Good luck.